Do I need to do? Three chunks of raw meat. Wowie! This is great! Some of it I'll shallow fry, some of it I'll deep fry with mushrooms. Ooh, and I wonder how well it goes with slime condensate. Yay! You have finally come around to my food preferences! Uh, sorry. I got all Hello. excited thinking about new recipes. As promised, a tasty snack. Go on, try it. And tell me what you think. Are we your food testers now? Oh gosh, this is delicious! Can you tell us how to make it? <laughs> sure! The only thing is, I haven't written down the recipe yet. Hmm. Hello there, Sifu. Hello, DV Zero. I got it. I'll make another one now so you can watch. I'm sure you'll pick it up straight away. This seems pretty hard to make. It'll take more than that to learn how to make it. And we don't have a frying pan or any condiments. Come on, it's simple. We can fry on a slab of stone and cook using some boar fat. Build a stove from rocks. Use dry grass for kindling, twigs for firewood. Sweet flowers will do for sugar. As for salt, I found a load of rock salt in a cave the other day. There's still plenty left. <laughs> I just can't help myself when there's a chance to try something new. But I can't exactly bring my whole kitchen with me every time I leave the house, either. Kind of adorable. Ready. Hey! What do you think? What? This is the boar's natural habitat. You can't hunt them here. You'll send them all running. We hunters know better than to kill the chicken to get at the egg. Oh, I get it. The freshest, best quality meat comes from free-range boars that grow up in the environment nature intended for them. If they all ran off... It would be a major blow to gastronomy. N no, to all mankind. That's not even close to what he meant. I'm sorry. I got excited and didn't think of the impact we'd have. <sighs> you should apologize to Draft. I didn't kill a single boar. As our leader, he always stresses the importance of respecting the rules of the hunt. I'm afraid he is very upset right now. What are we going to do? I made a mistake, and I should go and apologize. Let us come with you. See your <laughs> humiliation. Good. I'll cook up some more tasty snacks for you once this is over. Okay, don't worry. Paimon will remember even if you forget. Draft ought to be in Springvale. Let's go! Genshin's impact, indeed. <laughs> I mean, not gonna lie. Who wouldn't simp? <laughs> and I mean, that's what gacha games are for, isn't it? You pay money to your... Uh, lovely ladies? Question mark? <laughs> Maybe I'm not cut out to be a huntsman. Then don't. Go and become a painter. Yes, Draff is the one who has cat ears for no discernible reason. You must be Xiang Ling. Sorry, Mr. Draff. This was all my fault. You cannot, cannot stay angry at that face. I heard 
the whole story. And now that you're here in person... Ooh, he's gonna let her have it. <laughs> violence is not the answer, or violence is the answer. Let's fight. If you're looking for a fight, bring it on. Please, help me promote my meat. Nani? Huh? <laughs> Sorry if I was a little brash. Let me explain. Springvale has built its reputation on top quality meat products, but this reputation is so far limited to Mondstadt. When I heard that the great maestro Xiang Ling herself was in Mondstadt, I asked Alan to send you over. Maestro? Haven't you heard? She's the one behind Wan Min Restaurant, that one of a kind folk restaurant in Liwei Harbor. Her unique take on cooking ingredients is behind some of the best loved dishes in all of Liwei. They are very highly rated by travelers, too. Violence, indeed. You're too kind. I just try to cook things that are cheap and cheerful. Ah. Top-notch chef cooking top-notch cuisine with top-notch meat from Springvale. Our reputation would spread far and wide. <laughs> Promote his meat. Mm. I only ever think about how to make tasty dishes. I never limit myself to specific ingredients. And I don't know the first thing about promoting anything. You use boar meat all the time anyway, surely. I can't see what the issue is. The issue is... What would you think if I added a bit of slime condensate? That's... <laughs> I mean, couldn't you add something a bit more normal? There's no such thing as normal ingredients to me. You can turn anything into a delicacy if you cook it in the right way. I will not stand for having my creativity shackled by what ingredients I can and can't use. <laughs> cook like that is destined to be boring. Period. Celebrity chefs are known to be somewhat strong-minded. Gordon Ramsay. Well, since you feel so strongly about it, forget it. But it really is a pity. Yes, that is emergency food, you see. The adorable emergency food. to apologize, but it's another thing entirely to change the way I approach cooking. Mm, what's that smell? It's gorgeous! You don't describe a smell as gorgeous. <laughs> Hello! May I have a taste of your delicious cooking? Sorry, I've taken all the orders I can for the next few days. The earliest I could put you down for is seven days from now. Is that okay? Wow, it must be delicious if it's that popular. Oh, this woman is clearly a very popular yeah, chef. Good point. Why does Draft want Zhang Ling to help when Springville already has this lady? Hmm, maybe he feels that Mondstadt cuisine can't compete with that of Tavat's biggest business hub, Luya Harbor. But I disagree. I don't think my cooking is at all inferior to anyone else's. It's water. <laughs> it's just boiling water. <laughs> well then, show me what you got. Maybe I could give you some feedback. Sorry, but customer feedback like, oh, that tasted good, is no use to me. If I wanted feedback, I would ask a professional chef. <gasps> Hang on. Are you? Sheng Ling? That's me. <gasps> it's really you. Well... I guess you do know what you're doing when it comes to cooking meat, then. Oh my. As it happens, I have <laughs> one of today's prime cuts remaining. So tell me, how would you cook this? <laughs> I don't know who that is. That depends on the ratio of fat to meat. With this cut, I would probably roast it over a hot stone with a little salt, some joyun chili, and kingsen flour. Kingsen flour? The melted fat would make the flavor of the flowers ten times stronger than when eaten raw. It would overpower everything. I know. That's why it's a garnish. I would never marinate the meat in it. I tried it before. If you baste the petals in oil and then cook them with the right heat and duration, it gets rid of the bitterness completely and leaves you with a lovely crispy topping. Then throw in some joyun chilies grown at a high altitude, where the low humidity and varying temperatures lends them a unique dry heat. The petals absorb. This is making me hungry. God damn it! <laughs> and the umami of the tender, freshly grilled steak, while also adding a floral aftertaste. 
Uh, that's pure overkill. You're going all out on the trimmings and doing no justice to the meat whatsoever. Who wants to eat a roast when you can taste everything except the roast? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop arguing. I guess this is a sort of culinary clash of the titans. <laughs> well, there's only one surefire way out of a cooking dispute. Battle! I declare... <laughs> <laughs> can't beat my cooking, it'll show that draft was clearly wrong about you. All right. But if I win, you have to use my winning dish to promote Springvale. And if you lose, you have to add my winning dish to the Wan Mean menu. With a caption saying, This special addition to the Wan Mean menu is generously provided by Chef Brooke of Springvale. Meat expert. Meat hm. expert. It's a deal, or you have a deal. I'm off to get ingredients. I will see you. Wait. Whoa. Wait. <laughs> it just cut that dialogue short. Let's try and catch up. Okay, Paimon. Where the bloody hell did she run off to? Ah. I know my voice apparently sounds similar to many people. Which is interesting. I wonder if we're all secretly related somehow. Or if we all went through the same childhood traumas to create such vivacious vocal cords. And by that I just mean screaming at the top of my lungs when I was a kid. Because obviously that makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> no, actually I probably could have Oh, there's no smart travel there. Oh no. Midnight munchies. Generally, the only thing that can resolve that is a midnight Macca's run. Especially if you've got 24-hour McDonald's. But I'm not, I'm not uh, promoting their brand. Not at all, no. Just because they have deliciously golden hash browns of a morning. Wondrous hotcakes. Question marks. Oh, there is a fast travel point here that I could have unlocked. I really love the exploration music in this game. Just the gentle violin in the background. Hold on, actually, I should probably... Turn this up so everyone gets to hear it. Tell me if it's too loud. Ah, I see. a random house in the middle of nowhere. The Dawn Winery. <coughs> Tempura chicken nuggets. This place has been abandoned. I'm guessing wheat and carrots. No, apples. Ah, I was close. Oh. Well, that. Where did you come? What do you want with me? Goodbye. Off you go then. Oh my. You know what? You know what? We have one less key than Adeline, huh? Does that mean there's a secret room? Right, you got it. And so this one time, when I was waxing the floor, oh my god, I noticed that right down the far end of the corridor on the second floor there's a hidden room. Really? So that's really the room that... 
Well, I crept up to the door, and as I got close, I heard this thud, thud, thud sound getting closer and closer. <laughs> I was, like, so scared, and then just as I was about to run away, Adeline was behind me. Yikes! She's so scared she ran away. <laughs> the weirdest thing is that she didn't even tell me off. Instead, she was all polite and asked me nicely to go back to my room. But when I got back to my room, that's when I realized. That thudding sound. It was exactly like how Adeline's boots sound when she walks. Sure it was. Cough, cough. You sure it wasn't that someone was bouncing on a bed? <laughs> naughty, naughty. <gasps> More books to steal. Yoink! Oh. Books. Stolen every book I've seen in this game so far. No, I can't write a piece based on this info. Where's the secret room? Third day. Oh, there's no secret rooms here. Oh. Greetings, welcome to the Dawn Winery. Master Kaya? You know him? I trust he's doing well for himself lately. If you're asking about the title, that's all in the past. Sorry, that was a slip of the tongue. Please disregard it. Oh. More books. Oh, how awful. Uh, get out of here. I've pilfered all of their books. I no longer need this place. I'm sure it plays part in some future mysterious circumstance. But for now, my time cooking challenge. Like the fields of grapes in Vienna. All oh, right. Okay, I approached this from the wrong side. <laughs> I'm climb as high as you can. I need that amino. I'm thingy. Okay, that was stupid. You didn't even jump from the point I had you at. So many of those, uh... You've got to collect, like, the little wisps that give you the boost. You can just... Cheat by climbing on a tree first. No, I wasn't high enough. Hahaha. <laughs> Cute animu game. Maybe I'll be high enough if I go from up here. This big chonkers tree. Ooh. Breakfast eggs. Up there. That'll do it. Right. Yeah, I'll see if I can continue to swim. I don't think I'll make it. Pretty sure I'll drown before I get there. Oh. No, oh, so close. I drowned in standing height water. <laughs> of these tracks remind me of various anime OSTs Just with classical music oh it is what I there was a sandbar here well, I'm an idiot <laughs>
close. Have you decided what Hello, you're looking uh, for? Casualty. Yet? Of course not. <laughs> then how are you so sure of yourself? That's just my style. If I decided in advance exactly how I was going to cook something, there'd be no element of surprise to the dish. In the same way, if I knew what I was looking for before I found it, it wouldn't be a surprise. But that's so risky. Relax. This is how I came up with all the signature dishes at Wanmin Restaurant. <laughs> Let's look around here. I'll let you know when I find something I like. Frog and meat. Hmm, it's got a whole wide range of voices. Japanese, English, Korean. I'm around, just not doing many things lately, other than work. Check out those lotus heads! Look how fresh they are! Poultry! Lotus seeds? Mm, this could work! Okay, let's gather them! What am I gathering? <laughs> See ya! Hit me! You know you want to? Fine, don't hit me. <laughs> eh, I don't mind either. I like Paimon's voice in English. Everyone says she's annoying, but I find her rather cute. I did did swap it over to the JP uh, dub for a bit. I can see why they think that her voice is a bit annoying in that one. Alright, I need to collect down here. <laughs> this should be enough! It's not every day you come to Leeway. Let's keep looking and see what else we can find. Did I just say the S word? Maybe. <laughs> what do I do? As in my my job, I'm a programmer. Oh. Build applications for businesses to run their businesses better. Oh. the hell is the archer over here? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> the other enemy. Oh, there you are. Yoink. I prefer Snackmon's EN as well. He's cute. Watch 
watched Yui play the game a few months ago, and that's about it. Nice. I did sign up for the beta for this ages ago. I never got in. Stop running! I've heard people compare this to Breath of the Wild, which I've never actually played, so this is my first opportunity to play a similar game. Wow, Joy and Chilies! Oh my god, you oh, went up there. Such a cute name. Maybe so, but those little fellas pack quite a punch. Actually. From what I've observed, spicy <laughs> food is a rarity in Monsat, <laughs> so this will be perfect. Love spicy food. Go and pick some. Get a good handful. Enoch. Chilies, chilies, chilies. I still feel like we're lacking something. Do you not mean it's impressive enough? Or do you mean it's not impressive it's enough? <laughs> a little boom shakalaka. Boom shakalaka. <laughs> yeah, now that you mention it, it is a little boom. Shakalaka lacking. Oh my god, that was adorable. <laughs> a shakalaka load of what now? <laughs> <laughs> Rook may be a stickler for convention, but she is a talented chef nonetheless. There's no doubt she will source the fanciest quality ingredients. To win this will take a truly mind blowing dish. Something like sea serpent salad. Stir fried kings in flour, or wild mushrooms in a rich slime jus. You know, I think you're overthinking this. She's just going to cook the meat normally, and it's going to turn out better than yours. Ah, uh, a slime jus? <laughs> I know how weird it sounds, but I guarantee you it tastes incredible. <laughs> We're all boo. for you next time. Sure, can't wait to try it. <laughs> you won't be disappointed when you taste it. Although it looks a teensy bit gross. Never mind that. I just remembered there's somewhere I never checked out last time. My gut tells me that's where we'll hit the jackpot. Let's take a look. <laughs> Probably one of the only RPG-esque style games where I've read everything without bothering to skip. Lions are quite adorable. Right. Chop, 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 spin. Got a plan for you, friend. Big bada boom. Wow, oh, you're on the cliff. <laughs> Works for me. Thank you, noisy car. Loud notes on their vehicles. Dodge this. Eh, get off them. Poor meat, poor meat. Him. Where was I actually meant to go? I got sidetracked. <laughs> Wind Waker is still one of your favorite. I did, uh, I think Wind Waker is... 
Yeah, probably one of my favorites. I was trying to think. The only other ones were the Nintendo 64 era stuff, which everyone loves, so... I never really played any of the other ones, like Twilight Princess. Sorry, just readjusting my seating so I don't die. So yeah, Legend of Zelda uh, Wind Waker was the last one I ever played. Meaning that, yes, of course it's my highest rated. I did really like the boat travel in that though. Just the fact that it was such an open world. Oh, there's a shaman here. Sorry, a shamateur. Too bad, so sad. Do you and chilies? Can I cook actually? Oh, I can cook all of my brekkie eggs. Ooh. Ah, one I haven't finished proficiency for. Perfect. I think that was the most annoying part, was the getting the sunken treasure stuff in that game. If I remember, that's what took the longest, getting the pieces of the Triforce. I see, I see, I see. I landed in water that was above my uh, waist when I had no stamina. I instantly drowned, apparently. <laughs> Soup would be better than a fire? How about I look after him while you make him a nice warm bowl of soup? Why not just use both? We passed a hillatrol camp on the way here. Oh there my god. There will certainly be a campfire there to cook on. Did I preempt this? Wait, be as quick as you can. Did I somehow know this before I was even going to have to require it? Mm. <laughs> oh my god, I did. Oh, that is better. <laughs> Thank you. That soup really did the trick. Yes. I was chasing a boar, and after chasing him all this way, he slipped into those underground ruins over there. I followed him inside, but ran into a cryo-regis vine. It froze me instantly. When I woke up, I ran straight outside, but I only made it this far before my strength failed me. How big was it exactly? They do now. I'd heard of them before from others. What? But this was the first <laughs> time seeing one with my own eyes. That didn't make sense. She asked how big it was, and he said they do now. <laughs> Yikes! We should definitely keep our distance from the ruins. It sounds dangerous. It sounds delicious! Does anything not make you think about food? That's it! The missing ingredient! The icing on the cake! Calm down. Can we really eat a tree that's that aggressive? Only one way to find out. Let's go! I've run into one of these before. 
when I was level 5. It was level 36, ah, right near the first dungeon. <laughs> you should go back to Springvale. Do not worry about me. I'll be fine. But you must stop her. She is putting herself in grave danger. One thing I hate about playing uh, with the controller is I cannot aim for the life of me. <laughs> like it's too sensitive. I can't get the point on what I want. But that's fine. Oh my god, big boy! become an icy pole. Amber pop. Oh my god. I need the high ground. I'm stuck in a rut. No! Don't freeze me! I need my life! Superconduct! I was pressing my block button, but it didn't trigger. Up to Xiangling in the ruins. Oh, so they are here. Oh, excellent! It is a dungeon. Current party level is lower than recommended. I don't care. I've been doing high level stuff all the game. Hello there, Magnus. I mean, Legion. Uh, can you actually change your party in mid dungeon? I've got all the major elements that I need. Like, uh,. I would bring Lewd Lady along, but I don't really particularly... I also got this guy, but I hate him. <laughs> I want to get rid of this guy. I, I need another ice character. I don't know, he just seems too smug. The way he looks at you and speaks about you, I just snap him. Fortunately, it's so damned hard to get primo gems. Slow down! It's dangerous in here! Oh, we got a party of five. Ingredients don't stay fresh for long. A little bell. That's kind of cute. Oh, she's the right polar job. one. Right, yeah, I did the trial with her. I think she'll become my new DPS when I unlock her, definitely. We need to get going before yeah. they expire. Yeesh. She's quite the fighter. Seems foraging for ingredients takes more than just luck. What? Oh, I see. <laughs> Oba, get them. Oba? Nice. Out of stamina, no! Your dinner is attacking you? Oh, she can actually beat chill guys because of the fire! Nice! 
the butt in the butt. <laughs> Seen a frost boy. Nice. <laughs> Achieved peak smug. Is there such a thing as too much smug? I think there is. When it starts becoming haughty. Generally, with anime, that would be when the lady starts going. Oh, ho, 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 ho. She laughs. The old princess laugh. Oh, get back up there. Oh, what? <laughs> Stay. Stay. <laughs> huh? Resurrection gate unlocked. So for the longest time, I wasted so much time in these dungeons trying to find secrets. Then I realized, everywhere there could have been a secret, there wasn't. It made me so sad. Like, I'm guessing you could run along this, but I'm not going to try. Every time I did, I would die. Very nice. Overload. Bicycles hurting? No, not possible. haven't been hit by one yet. Fun character. Really like her a lot. Nice and spicy. <laughs> See the bear chews on. S ah, nice and spicy. chewing on a chili. <laughs> kind of adorable. Treasure! Whoa! My ingredients are attacking me! Help me put him in his place! 
Oh my lord. Yes. Text does not match the song, yet they both still rhymed. Even better if it's paired with a bit of swine. That sounded like a Christmas carol. <laughs> Wash them down with a glass of wine. <laughs> Your version just ruins it. <laughs> what? Wait, there's something else here too. This must be the boy that Hunter was chasing. But. Paimon's never seen one with this pattern before. Where have I seen this before? Hmm. Aha! It was in the Historia Naturalis of Liyue. This pattern is unmistakable. It belongs to a breed of boar that went extinct 300 years ago. Wow! How is this one still alive after so long? <laughs> Accidental cry over <laughs> Could be. I read that this boar was hunted to extinction because its meat was so highly prized. Condensate of jumbo cryoslime and extinct boar? Not one, but two priceless treasures! Did she, instead of saying cryo registrar, say something about cognostate of registrar? <laughs> This'll be our winning ticket. The boy doesn't look cool. Too bad he's not talking. He seems to be giving me the cold shoulder. But hey, what can you expect? I wasn't invited to his cool party. <laughs> of uh, pork chops or ice pops I guess <sighs> okay I'll stop I was just kind of you know making light of how ice to see him it was But the chill. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, um should, should remember that uh, you need energy to fly. <laughs> one of those little amino uh, should be able to get it if my reach is IR. Even though part of the puzzle is to jump out across the water, we'll do it from this side instead. We don't follow the rules here. No, not at all. We do things our way. Oh, it's not even one, it's one of the spirit boys. 
stupid. <laughs> Take me to your leader. Oh, it's one of these. I'm going to have to find multiple of them. Is it a... Oh, it's a precious chest. It's worth it. You there. Get down to your pedestal. I think you still end up going down, though. Where is that sound? Is that another one of those bugs that I've run into? Yeah. So there's an invisible version of the little spirit guide. In some regions there's two of them in the same spot. One is never interactable. So confusing. Haha, <laughs> no worries. Have a good night's sleep. It's over there. Well, let's deal with these fellows first. Come onto the grass where it's nice and warm. Don't worry, it's not a trap. You're meant to be on fire right now. Why are you not on fire? Whatever, he's dead anyway. <laughs> what? Back already? That's illegal. on the wall. Unlock the precious chest to beat them all. Uh, she was only temporarily in my party. I, I think I need to do some trials when I hit level 20 to unlock her, unless this quest unlocks her. Luxurious chest. I should probably actually update the equipment on my characters, considering I've collected so much. Sometimes I wish there was just a auto-equip best for each slot. <laughs> oh, I finally have some pieces of berserkers. pieces do you have equipped, my dear? I don't recall what I put on you. Adventurer's gear. Ah, you do have the Berserker Rose, though. Let's deck you out in this lovely gear, then. Zerka's feather. When HP is below 7, crit rate is increased. Okay, so I keep her at low HP. That's fine. I can do that. Uh. Oh, that one's got electro damage. Hell yeah. Hmm. Good morning, Kaikotsu. Yeah, I don't really play the game anymore. Do 
Any times I'm ever really in VR chat now is of a weekend. Specifically just a couple of hours on Sunday. Joining the movie nights with Isolot and Broken Chan. Another mystery house in the woods. It was like people just walk up to a place and say, yeah, he'll do fine. And then I steal all their wheat. <laughs> defunct now. The other one isn't really advertiser friendly. That's where I put all of my cough cough animations. <laughs> the Americas. Olaf. Oh, He's got ears are you like sure <laughs> this is Springdale. <laughs> uh, yes, for the millionth time, yes. But I don't know any of the people you're looking for. Ooh, is this like a twisted timeline? That is not possible. They all live in Springvale. They are my neighbors and friends. This is strange. What is going on? <laughs> Just put a mustache on the other one and you're the same person. I think I see what's going on here. What is it? This hunter is also a survivor from 300 years ago. What? Can humans really live that long? Does that really make sense? He and the boar were both frozen. Oh, like the way that you keep food fresh. Yes, because humans are also food. Still, it's hard to believe. But it doesn't seem like there's any other sensible explanation. Okay, so what's... Olaf. Olaf to Draf. Olaf? I'm sure I've seen that on my family tree. I mean, the ears give it away, guys. <laughs> I can't remember which generation it was from, but it was definitely on there. So, a great, 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 great grandfather, but with a whole lot more greats? What an unusual turn of events. <laughs> Reunited at long last. Isn't that just amazing? Uh, Olaf, do you want to come and watch a cooking competition? Ah, yes, that reminds me. Brooke told me about the competition, yeah, and I've great. set everything up at the venue. You should come with me. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm still around. I just don't stream anymore. I quit that. <laughs> And then someone said, make it a spooky ghost stream. So I quickly 3D modeled that spooky ghost you see in the bottom right. And made it a spooky ghost stream. <laughs> oh, a whole lot of people here. Don't mind me stealing your carrots. We're ready to cook. Are you? <laughs> it looks 
so done with everything. I was born ready. Oh, and Sigfria will be my assistant for the competition. Then let the cooking commence. I will be your judge today. And don't worry, I may have known Brooke for longer, but I will remain entirely impartial. Much appreciated. Well then, Traveler, Paimon, prepare! Wait, we're taking part in this too? Of course! If Brooke has an assistant, you guys will have to be mine. I'll need you by oh, my side no. when the going gets tough. <sighs> Paimon doesn't remember applying for that job. <laughs> uh, I guess there's new backing out now. Okay, Paimon will do it for the sake of the food. What do I need to do? Our first problem is ingredients. We need something special to dress up the steak, but I don't have anything suitable here. Hmm. Didn't we just go and get a whole heap of ingredients for you? I've got it! Radish is what we need. Mashed or grated, it'll add a touch of freshness. No, those ended a couple of years ago, Anna. And we can carve little flowers out of it as a garnish. Two birds, one stone. Thanks for stopping by, Shadow's Curse. Is it a time thing? I uh, sort of. I need to focus more on my real life job. It brings money in. And when I was streaming, I was just running myself dry. Actually causing issues with the job that I work. Go find me a radish. There should be some in the area. Oh, and make sure you wash it because it's going straight into the dish. Let's wash the radish in the river. <laughs> Let's wash the radish in the river. In before attacked by spooky goblins. Oh, this is a timed thing. Uh, yeah, I knew it! Scared the bejesus out of Paimon! This is way too close to the venue. What if they stir up trouble during the competition? Uh, I don't think we should risk it. Go get them! Quickly, quickly! Wowie! Big and luscious! It's perfect! Think now, how about... Xiangling, look out! The pan's on fire! Oh no! It's gonna burn! It's gonna burn! It's gonna burn! Get the fire under control! Without using water, though, or this dish is a goner! Without using water? Uh... Dodge this! Oh, okay. I just extinguished the fire. I did! Where's the other fire? What? I'm so confused! Oh, this is practically charcoal now! Oh, I'm gonna I, have to I put it out scratch. though. Also, I'm thinking our main is a little weak. We need to mix it up a bit. Make me a mushroom chicken skewer. And make sure it's got that ooh la la on the outside. Then hits you with the cha ching in the middle. <laughs> I'm on translate for me. Just make it taste friggin' awesome. Oh wow. I can do that. She wanted a chicken mushroom stew stew uh skewer. I think. Sure. Let's cook one. Track, but we're aiming for perfection here, and I just think it lacks a certain. a certain what? A certain. Boom mm, shakalaka! Yeah. <laughs> yes, definitely needs some boom shakalaka! Or perhaps a little shakalaka boom pow! Shakalaka boom pow! <laughs> Again, how is this making sense to you? of such amazing ingredients to just serve this as is. Let me see. Hmm, what would be ideal is some kind of regional specialty. Regional specialty? Yes, something that's native to this area but isn't often used in cooking. I don't care if it flies, 
crawls, or bounces. Even insects I can work with. Uh, interesting choice. <laughs> I'm sure I can make something of it. All right, then. Thanks, you guys. Now show me what you got. Uh... What the hell is that? Frogs, insects, or weird tentacles? A lizard tail. <laughs> I see. It's not a weird tentacle. What should we give her? Actually, let's go and see if there's something nearby that I can kind of pilfer for her. No! Mushrooms are great! No! No! I don't want to talk about mushrooms, Mr. Board! Hmm. I guess we'll go with lizard tails. Sounds kind of yummy, yeah, but we're going with like chicken as well. Yeah, we'll go frog. Why not? Uh, do you really want to add that? <laughs> it's a little odd. It'll be fine. This was an excellent find, guys. Now, if you'll excuse me, Chef Xiangling needs to concentrate. But I'll be sure to annoy you again if I need anything else. <laughs> It looks like Sean Ling's main dish is almost done. Let's go and see. I almost forgot. Side dish. We need a side dish. <laughs> You'd make me do it even if I didn't offer. Thanks. <laughs> you know me too well. Here, take this. I just scrawled it down at the last minute. And here are all the ingredients you need. Is this the recipe for that snack you gave us earlier? Yes. With some minor improvements, so it uses up the leftover ingredients from Liwei. This is so complicated. How are we supposed to cook this with no experience? The frong has that butter boy. The technique doesn't matter. What matters is that you do it with passion. And that's what my father taught me. And you must <laughs> be passionate about cooking if you've helped me this much already. I trust you guys. I know you'll nail this side dish. Leave it to me. Confident. I like it. Come on, this is the final push. Jade parcels. Oh, I do have enough ingredients. Actually, do I have any characters that have bonuses? No, I don't. food. <laughs> Phantasmophobia is basically you're out trying to scout for a ghost with a group of bodies, checking temperature, EMF, radio, sp so it's like one of those old ghost shows where they'd go into the buildings and be like, is there anyone here? Can you hear me? If you hear me, move that door. And then someone behind the door, because the camera can't see them, moves it and they're like, oh my god, there's ghosts! And they all run outside. <laughs> This was a fine feast. I have dined today like I have never dined before. Both chefs' dishes today were nothing short of exceptional. They were true masterpieces. And that is what makes this an extremely difficult decision. Mm. But this is a competition, and there can only be one winner. And that winner is... Shang Ling. What a bing. It's all thanks to me. I thought I was sure to win with pork chops so fresh they were practically still grunting. But it turns out that's still no match for the taste of extinct boar. Uh, uh, excuse me? Did you say this was cooked from extinct 
four? Yep, every last bit. My goodness, a single mouthful must be worth a hundred thousand mora. The amount you'd make if you sold this could support every hunter in town for years to come. <laughs> the main thing is that you enjoyed eating it. I don't care about the mora. Anyway, now our judge has given his verdict, <laughs> it's time for everyone else to eat too! I made plenty! That razor is the spooky ghost. Meanwhile, I want to try Brooke's dish! Mmm! This is absolutely delicious! I'll admit it, I was beaten by the best. Losing is no fun, but it was worth it for the chance to eat such superb cooking. Please, Shanling, want some more? This is gorgeous, too! Such a perfectly layered texture! Were it not for that exquisite boar and excellent side dish, it's hard to say if I still would have won. Paimon's turn to eat! Hmm. I will have a taste, too. Oh, my, oh, my! This is... This is the taste of Springvale! Or rather... It used to be. It tastes so good, I want to weep tears of joy. <laughs> this is the last time I will be able to taste the food of my era. Hey now, cheer up! If you like the taste, I can always make you some more. <laughs> really? But the boar... It's extinct. The boar may be, but the taste isn't. I can simply recreate it using different ingredients. Putting a smile on customers' faces is what we chefs are called to do! Thank you. <laughs> a good time was had by all. But everyone's gone now. Let's go and say goodbye to Xiangling. Sure, we can do that. Yeah, I kinda like the game. <laughs> Umbrood. Game is actually pretty spooky, but also you laugh your ass off when the ghosts can't do anything to you. Down the front door shouting its name and smacking everything over and taking its food bottles. Thanks, you guys! Without your help, I don't know how it would have gone today. And without you, Paimon wouldn't have gotten to try so many new tasty snacks. Also wouldn't have gotten so full. <laughs> Where will you go now? Not sure. I'll probably start heading back to Liyue, but I might change my plan on the way. I don't like to plan things too thoroughly. Who knows? Maybe you'll bump into me out in the wild again. Xiang Ling's gone from Boom Shakalaka to Hakuna Matata. Whoa! Disney copyright! <laughs> No wonder there's no text for that, where it says, Must be nice to be so carefree. <laughs> Boom shakalaga to Hakuna Matata. You are a gifted chef. You made an amazing batch of jade parcels. Come and visit me at the Wanmin restaurant sometime. I did promise I'd cook for you. And if you want, I'll teach you how to cook some of my latest inventions, too. It's a deal. It's a deal. <laughs> <laughs> See you again soon. Constant gastronomy trip completed. <laughs> yes, a very boring. Oh dear. A peaceful world. Thirteen out of one twenty, which means I no thing yet. I still need to hit level twenty to beat that. No, that was just that quest. I uh, accidentally didn't do the quests you were meant to do in between Act 1 and Act 2 because I'm an idiot and I just grinded all the levels by unlocking chests. I think I've unlocked like 300 or 400 chests. Uh, yeah, so I've still got these fun story quests to do.
until I hit this one here. Let's go and talk to Ambi Pambi. Yeah, I uh, I also climb on everything that I see. I found this. Well, I mean, it was on the map, but I didn't know it was there until I found it. Quite funny. Like, wait a minute, there's a teleporter up here. Nice. You want a chef MMR <laughs> MMORPG? You have to battle using food. Hey, traveler! I've been looking for you everywhere. How's that wind glider I gave you last time? Uh, keep getting carried away and gliding too high. <laughs> Seems like it's really growing on you. But then again, you don't have a gliding license, do you? What? A gliding license? Hmm, what's that? No, I haven't played Witcher 3. <sighs> Isn't it obvious? You gotta have a gliding license to legally glide in Mondstadt. I've been illegal this entire time. <laughs> oh, but we've been gliding for ages now. This is the first we've heard about it. Yeah, you've been gliding all over the place. Everyone's noticed. <laughs> <laughs> so, you came looking for us because you want to give us a gliding license? No way. The Knights of Favonius have strict rules. You need to pass an exam, and only then will the Knights issue your license. Today, I'm here as an examiner to oversee your official gliding exam. I gave you your wing glider, so this is my responsibility. At least that's what acting Grandmaster Jean would say. An exam? <sighs> what a pain in the butt. Then again, since Amber is the examiner... It's fine. I can do this. I'm sure you'll glide through it. I mean, the whole city saw how well you flew the day that Storm Terror attacked, so I'm sure you'll have no problems. But... We do need to respect the rules and glide properly. Hello there, Hugu. Here, take this gliding manual. No need to memorize it. Just be familiar with everything in there. That's what memorization is. For example, only one person per wing glider. No carrying anything over the set weight limit. No taking off using an animo slime, and so on and so forth. Wait, you're not allowed to do that. Anyway, be sure to read it, okay? I had to read a load of big, thick books too when Lisa was teaching me magic. Wow, that's a big old book! Paimon thinks we best get started. Great, come find me when you're done. I'll be at Windrise. <sighs> the Knights of Favonius Gliding Manual does not sound like a fun read. Well, guess I'd better get started. After Amber leaves, you begin to read the gliding guide. When the first wisp of wind brushed across the land, birds that yearned for the sky had wings, but no way to fly. They asked the animal god, how can we reach the heavens? To which the animal god replied, you have yet to find that which is most important. As the god spoke, the wind thrust the seeds of a dandelion high into the sky. The birds thrust out their wings, but the breeze was all too mild, leaving them to stumble across the earth. So they went to the gorge, where the wind showed off its wild and incomparable strength. They threw themselves off the cliff and flapped their wings amongst the howling winds until they were able to fly freely in the sky. To the animal god they went to gleefully say, We understand now. All we needed was a stronger wind to fly. In reply, the animal god said, What you lacked was not wind, but courage. It is courage that has allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. Yes, I am playing it on a computer. Hmm, that's a cool story. But is the Knight's Gliding Manual really written in that style? It reads like a fairy tale. Huh. Anyway, let's go find Amber. The rule of gliding is I need courage. Okay. 
How goes your journey into that, traveller? Let us... or leave us your comments. Oh my god! Okay, now I'm lagging because it all tapped me. <laughs> it's back to normal. Oh. You're all the way over there. I think I've been all over this bloody map. Um, for the regions that I've unlocked. At least. Yes, you can. <laughs> Okie dokie, Kato. You and you return, if you do. See, I really grasped the rules. Sounds like it was a real drag. I would know. I've been there. Oh, the gliding manual is super dry. I couldn't get into it at all. <gasps> Don't tell Jean, though. Really? <laughs> hmm. Paimon thought there were some pretty cool stories in the gliding manual. Cool stories? Oh, you must mean the example cases in the appendix. She gave us the wrong book. Some of them I like. My favorite one is about the illegal animo slime takeoff. Apparently, if you pop an animo slime and take off in the burst of wind, it shoots you up really, really high. I really want to try it. No, not that story. Paimon meant the one with the little bird who wanted to learn to fly. Uh, what? <laughs> Let me take a look. Oh, shoot. Thanks for this stopping by, Legion. This is the storybook I used to read as a kid. Oops, sorry. I put both books in the same pile and must have grabbed the wrong one when I was leaving. How in the heck do you confuse a bedtime story with an instruction manual? Uh, uh this can't is read. so embarrassing. <laughs> it's because, maybe deep down inside, that fairy tale is the thing that truly taught me how to glide. What you lacked was not wind. It's courage that's allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. Reading that gave me the courage to glide, to become an outrider, and to become the gliding champion of Mondstadt. Uh, but anyway, let's get back to the exam. Don't be nervous. Just glide like you're used to. Okay then, you just need to follow the marked route to the finish. I'm ready. It's like the Superman 64 game, but better. <laughs> given the way you handle your glider in a storm. The next part of the exam is in Mondstadt. See you there. Don't keep me waiting. Alrighty then. You heard her. Back to the city. Let's know. Oh. I keep her waiting. 
Okie dokie, I'm back to the city. Right, glide straight into the future. Oh, I see over there. It's not what it was. So. <laughs> Seems like you've got the hang of wind gliding now. Let's do the final stage. Easy! You've flown this way before anyway! Once you've passed this final stage, you'll finally be able to get your very own gliding license. Just keep thinking about that license. Ready? Go! <laughs> Windborn Traveler, you are required to land at once by the order of the Knights of Favonius. I am Otto of the Knights of Favonius. W what's going on? I like it, Eagle. <laughs> Please, show me your gliding license. <laughs> it got eaten by a Baron Bunny. Sure. It is against the law to glide without a license. I am arresting you under Section 7, Article 12 of the Mondstadt Penal Code. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will forever carry on the wind. Wait, I'm an instructor. This is a gliding exam. Oh, I see. <laughs> Come on, you idiot. Well, you picked a bad time to hold your gliding exam. Really? Why? The Knights of Favonius received a report from a sister at the cathedral, claiming she saw Raptor gliding around these parts. I thought your student here must have been his partner in crime. Raptor? Who's that? A known criminal in Mondstadt. He always uses a wind glider to commit his crimes, so people started calling him Raptor. That doesn't make sense. Wow, he flies fast then. You can give it a fabonious. <laughs> so far, we haven't managed to catch him. Our plan this time was to draw him into the cathedral with a precious artifact and ambush him inside. But he escaped with the artifact. Fortunately, one of the sisters put some secret markings on the artifact using elemental magic. But he was too fast, and we couldn't even keep up with the trail the markings left behind. Well, if you need help chasing down a gliding criminal, I'm the one for the job. So tell me, which way did he go? As far as I know, he was last seen near Springvale. But that was some time ago. Leave it to me. With us chasing him down together, he doesn't stand a chance. So, I passed. Once we've got this raptor guy, we'll pick up where we left off. But no need to worry. I'll be sure to have a word with Jean. Hold on a second. Something very important. Uh... I'll watch your back. Caught him! <laughs> I'm kidding, that's Razor, not Raptor. I kind of don't like the uh, attack style of this character at all. Alright.
All right, let's go. Hello there on neutral ground. This is Springvale. There must be some clues about Raptor around here. The sister from the cathedral put some secret animal markings on the artifact he took. Use your elemental sight and keep your eyes peeled for clues. I keep forgetting that exists. Ooh, hey, what do you think this is? It looks like a broken tree branch. Oh, Paimon knows. It's from a frame of a wind glider. Therefore, there are no elemental traces on it. Uh, it looks like it's just a plain old tree branch. Detective mode enabled. Hmm, a strip of cloth with animal markings on it. Looking at the design and the way it's woven, there's a good chance it came from a wing glider. <laughs> wow, outriders have to be textile experts now? It's a harder job than Paimon thought. If this really belongs to Raptor, it must mean his wind glider is broken. Oh, I see. On the mini map. Another one. Slimes are airborne creatures. They don't leave marks on the ground unless someone stumped on one to take off. Hmm. How do we know if this was left by a raptor or an animal slime? That's the same line repeated. Instead of people actually do that. <laughs> Either way, let's make a mental note of these markings. They're very clear. It appears that the elemental markings point this way. Oh no, Sturici. Huh. Well... Do you think he ran off ahead? There's only one way to find out. Come on, we should keep following the markings. Ooh, what's that? Looks like something's going on up ahead. It sounds like there's a battle going on. Could that be Raptor? Quick, let's keep going. They call him Raptor. Yeetus, Deletus. Thank goodness, the Knights of Favonius have arrived. The hilly trolls won't dare pursue me any longer. What happened? I can't believe it, but the hilly trolls attacked our carts. <sighs> Luckily, I outran them. Hilly Churls? But I thought the Knights of Favonius had cleared out most of the hilly churl camps around these parts. It's a small camp not too far from the village, but the route I take on my delivery runs ensures I steer clear of it. But today, oh, some crazy fellow suddenly fell out of the sky and landed right in the camp. Hmm, now, who does that remind me of? Oh, it really riled them up. They chased the funny-looking fellow as he fled, which brought them out in the open. I managed to get away, but they smashed my fruit carts to smithereens. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do when the merchant caravan gets here tomorrow. Funny looking? In what way? Oh, he was holding on to something. Must have been heavy because he couldn't glide in a straight line to save his life. Maybe that's why he fell. Honestly, people like that shouldn't be allowed in the skies. It doesn't take a genius to know you're not supposed to carry heavy objects while gliding. I'm going to report that idiot and make sure he gets his license revoked. Heavy object? The artifact? This could well be our guy. Tell me, did you see which way he went? Uh, I managed to catch a glimpse as I ran from the hilly churls. I think he went <laughs> that way. Seems like a strong lead. 
on with the chase. No one questions the floating toddler, yes. Oh, and don't worry. <laughs> as soon as I get back, I'll tell the knights to mop up the rest of the hilly churls as soon as possible. Well, I mean, here's my, uh, I don't know, because I've never gone past this point in the game. Here's my thought, just based off the stupid cliches that video games generally have. Paimon is actually a version of the god you fought at the very first scene. Boom. That's my thought, anyway. There's no <laughs> end to this. Another test subject. Another test subject. Sure about that. You're open. Oh my God! They froze me. It's illegal. Be a, you want to be a... the hilly churls, there's a bunch of funny looking people too. <laughs> Judging from the type of wind gliders they've got, I'd say this lot is with Raptor. But if that's the case, what are they hanging around here for? Oh, the dark star. No, I was uh, referring well, just to her hairstyle. Well, this can't slow us down. That's for sure. But Notice. we also haven't found the artifact, which means Raptor still has it on him. Forget no these guys. Come on, let's keep following the Talking elemental Amber. markings. <laughs> there are no uh, no other characters in this entire world that I've seen so far that have white hair. And there's such a massive deal made about you having blonde hair, because no one else has blonde hair like that. Well, you know. It's this year. The elemental power on the artifact must have worn off. Raptor must have realized the markings would give away his position and sent his minions to slow us down. That way, when the effect wears off, he can make his escape. He won't get away with this. After him! Ooh, secret tunnel. Ah. Well, I mean, she's got dark and light crystals on her. Like, you look at the shooting star symbols and stuff like that. There's so. only one way over there. Raptor must be up ahead. However, it looks like the only way we can catch up is if we glide. But there's a ton of enemies below. They'll definitely attack us after we take off. If we're gonna do this, we'll have to glide and defeat them in one fell swoop. You still had one stage to go in your exam, right? The dive bomb stage. Yeah, but what's that got to do with anything? How about we make this the third and final stage of your gliding exam? Are you sure that's how the exam is supposed to go? It's a custom version of the exam, designed by yours truly. Besides, the normal version of the exam wouldn't be fit for the hero of Mondstadt himself. So, what do you say? Watch me nail this exam. Good answer. Prepare for takeoff. Raptor awaits you once you defeat all these enemies. Then that gliding license is yours. It's also uh, not just the hair that gives it away. I suppose if it is actually what it ends up being. Use any of our wind currents to keep yourself a while evading enemy attacks. You can drop bombs. <laughs> uh, most like stories that I've read of this style, you know, isekai stuff like that. It's so cliche that the creature or the god that put you in that place is the first one you meet. Or the, the big bad evil guy is actually the first character you ever meet and become friends with. <laughs> Arms away! Oh no, where's the air current? There it is, over there. <laughs> Suffer. I missed anything. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Whoosh. This is fun. Right. 
There's a shorter cooldown on this. Damn it. <laughs> there we go. Nice. You breezed through it. Uh. <laughs> You're a natural. I knew you'd be fine. All that's hey. left now is to grab ourselves a raptor. Let's go. <laughs> what I failed. <laughs> the pocket bomb. Hello there, Carl. Hello there, Kyle. Uh, unfortunately, there's probably not going to be much more of that. Not unless I can get myself back into the mood for doing it. I did look into getting a 3DO, but uh, the expense isn't worth it. Uh, Edo? No! spyware written? There's rumors about this being spyware written? I don't know. I haven't seen any spyware. It could just be that people don't trust anything that has Chinese production. Which you're free to do. I mean, to be entirely honest, using any service like Facebook or Twitter or any social media at all, you're already giving away all your information. Well, I've got nothing to worry about. <laughs> hmm. I've been angry before. It's a normal thing. I try not to be angry, but I can't avoid it sometimes. still on the platform. Oh. 
C'est la vie, mon ami. Oh, you're still up here. Yay. Ah. Found an early access point. Those are the worst. You'd be like super immersed in the game and then all of a sudden something rips you completely out of it. Like a person does some weird janky ragdoll effect that causes an explosion that kills your character. It's like, why why was that even allowed to be in the Oh god! Hello! <laughs> so long, the Bowser. I mean, that's why they can get away with calling it early access. <sighs> Unfortunately. That looks like a secret over there, but there's no such things in this game. character fails the check and falls, they break the character. Oh, God. <laughs> it's as if the character just becomes instantly incapacitated. That's kind of a really annoying bug. Yeah. There's no way across. Ugh, he must be around here somewhere. Where would he be? Amber! Over there! If you insist on chasing me, so be it. Huh? Who brought the little girl? You must be a <laughs> raptor. You can't escape. It is such a stereotypical evil anime boy voice from the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to escape. There's no way you can make it over here. Oh. It is pretty high, and quite far. Oh, little girl, why don't you run along home now and let your leader deal with this? Don't worry, I promise that once the Grandmaster gets here, I'll surrender immediately. <laughs> hey, watch it! You're talking to a Knights of Favonius outrider! You'll be sorry when I arrest you! Deep breaths, Amber. <sighs> You're right. Ugh. He's right there in front of us. If only we could glide across. <sighs> so how did he get across? A grappling hook or spikes or something? If it's too far to glide, it's definitely too far for anything like that. Not if you combine them, Pyron. There's also no sign <laughs> of an anchor point. Bye-bye, kiddo. Oh no, he's getting away! Oh, we can't hesitate any longer. The only way to get across is to glide there. But, but... What but? Don't worry. I'm the gliding champion of Mondstadt, remember? If Raptor <laughs> can do it, I can do it too. They got to be a channel up used to voice like these. <laughs> Oi, Outrider! You have less chance of surviving this than jumping off the Animal God statue in Mondstadt without your wind glider. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm with Simon Amber. Simon sees your point. If you rule out everything that's completely impossible, gliding is the only idea left. Remember that book I lent you? The one I thought was the gliding manual, but wasn't? The first birds couldn't fly. Flight was their reward for their courage to plunge into the canyon. <sighs> Be my witness. 
Go, go, Outrider. Raptor says I'll never make it. But if you listen carefully... Wait! Stop! You'll never make it! Come on, off you go now. Back home like a good little girl. Raptor says I'll never make it. But if you listen carefully... She said that line already. The wind. <laughs> the wind says I will make it. And that's good enough for me. Yeah, but you're not the one that's going. It's me. Amber! No! You're gonna fall! You're gonna fall! <gasps> it's a wind current! She, she's gliding! Amber's gliding! You're crazy, kid! You must have known about the wind current! There's no way you would have jumped otherwise! The wind takes care of those who are cursed. Just you watch. Now sit still and await your arrest, like a good little uh. boy. Later, treasure boredom. Oh. Are you okay? <laughs> Just a temporary... Shot him in the dick. <laughs> All right, I got him. I only noticed the wind current from in the air, and it's the only one. It would be suicide to try and escape in the direction Raptor was going. In other words, the only way Raptor could have gotten out would be this way. Past us. Aha! So he was just trying to fool us by acting smug in the hope that we would just give up and leave. Little did he know, we're not so easily fooled. It was all thanks to your sharp thinking. Just like a wise man once said, once you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, no matter how improbable, must be the truth. Uh, yes, that was a very wise man. Good old Occam. <laughs> At the end of the day, gliding is seven parts technique, three parts instinct, and then 90 parts courage. What you did now looked more like 99 parts courage. Ah, uh, it was just like in my first gliding exam. I was super nervous, but in the end, there was nothing to be afraid of, and I passed no problem. I kind of missed that nervous rush in Blind the exams faith. I've done since then. It just wasn't the same. Um, sorry. Paimon thought you said you passed no problem. What do you mean, exam since then? Uh, well, you see, the thing is, Mondstadt is all no glide zone this, no landing zone that. <sighs> Every time I get my license, it keeps getting revoked. I must have taken the exam about 15 <laughs> times altogether, but I always pass the first time. I guess my little gliding manual ain't so bad after all. Let's go and get a copy of the real gliding manual from Acting Grandmaster Jean sometime. Sounds good. I'll head off first because I need to escort Raptor back to the city. Once you're back in the city, don't forget to come find me at the cathedral. I'll issue your gliding license there. Yay. <sighs> she just can't sit still, can she? Guess that's why she's the Outrider. When this is all done and dusted, let's head to the cathedral in Mondstadt. <sighs> Getting this gliding license has turned into quite the... Like the... <laughs> the leap of faith. This game is quite beautiful. Super impressed with what they've done with it. Oh, it's a boss fight. A 
deleted. Hmm. Every time I see that church over there, it reminds me of Anno Londo. <laughs> <laughs> I keep thinking, oh god, Dark Souls time. I've gotta watch out for all the bloody archers shooting missiles from the tops of the buildings. Vacuum. So all the loot. <laughs> so I want to know where the rest of the set Victoria has is. So I got the uh, the first piece of it, which is the blood-stained Chevalier's goblet. I want the rest of it though, because it looks like it's amazing. I probably have to Google where it is. You get the first bit from her for talking to her. Uh, I can't even remember what options you pick, but she gives it to you. Congratulations! Here is your gliding license! You're officially legal now! Yay! I'm legal! Yay! I'm not <laughs> surprised, though. You are a natural after all. Yeah, it was easy. Oh, and I'll sign you up for the next wind gliding championship. I glide so fast that no one can keep up. It's just me up there, on my own, gliding around. <sighs> it's kind of boring. Cool, I'm definitely gonna win. Oh, fighting talk. <laughs> it seems you have no idea how terrifying the championship really is. Well, until I kick your butt in the championship, I wish you a happy, liberating, and above all, law-abiding, gliding experience. Make sure you obey the rules. Whatever you do, don't get your license revoked. Oh, brother. <laughs> if you ask me, that's a bit rich coming from Amber. <laughs> Wind, courage, and wings completed. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. I wanted the bag, because I just noticed the character's health. Yeah, look at my book collection. I'm a walking library. <laughs> gotcha. Do I have... Uh, I don't have enough. Yeah. It takes so long to earn Primo Gems. Let's see why people just spend money instead. <laughs> Is it my shop? I've only got six, which isn't enough to get a guaranteed four star. Wah. Paimon still has something for me. Oh. Oh, 
I unlocked a new... Ooh. Nice. Uh... That guy's standing in the fountain. Not bad for today. What are you doing? You're frightening me. What are you doing? I, I'm not doing anything. Oh well, you've caught me already, haven't you? It's just an ordinary water fountain, but somehow people treat it like a wishing well. Throwing their money away for nothing, but I could use that money. I am in desperate need of money. Please don't tell anyone. Why do you need the money? Because of Anna, my sister. You may have met her during the day. She's suffering from her disease. Oh, God. Why does it have to be her? She's such a kind and gentle kid. Why must it be her and not me? These coins somewhat make up for the medicine she needs, but I also work hard at my job, of course. If the Archons are watching, I'm sure they'll forgive your actions. Well, it's her sister. Sorry, it's his sister that's putting the money there. So you're stealing from yourself, you idiot. Me freebies. We meet again, avid adventurer. Are your adventures going smoothly? I'm like a well-oiled adventuring machine. That is the spirit. Keep it up. It seems that you have a wealth of experience under your belt now. Time to introduce you to the formal work of the guild. The guild receives requests from far and wide each day, and assigns commissions to adventurers accordingly. Oh. These commissioned adventures are the main source of compensation for our guild members. What kind of commissions are they? It is a mixed bag. Anything from running an errand for fellow citizens to dealing with monsters. Some are textbook, others are extremely dangerous. But you do not have to take my word for it. You should find out for yourself. Here you can find the details of today's commissions. Please report back to me upon completion. There will be a generous reward waiting for you. How generous are we talking? Patience is a virtue. You will find out soon enough. I'm sure you will not be disappointed. I await your return with great anticipation. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Ad Astra Abyssosk. On the map to see the area. Or open the map to see the area with ongoing events. Proceed to an area. Error? error? What? <laughs> what is error? Proceed to an area to learn about the events going on there. I'm so confused. What the hell was error? Add Astra Abyss. Hey, that's another acquaint feed. So I need three more before I can roll the spinny wheel of Doom Hammer. Let's check out some of these uh, events then, I guess. Oh, they are dailies. Okay. Absorption test. Just more stuff to do, I guess. Again, you scared all my pigeons off again! I was feeding them. What do you have to say for yourself? Uh, oops. Hm. Well, Mummy always tells me that if someone's really sorry, they'll show it with their actions, not their words. The bridge pigeons are my friends. I feed them all the time. But these days, the ducks are coming and stealing their food, and the pigeons never have enough to eat anymore. I want you to find three wheats for me and feed them to the ducks. While you're doing that, I can make sure the bridge pigeons get enough to eat. Once both sides have had enough to eat, maybe everyone can become friends. 
I seek not the friendship of pigeons. Whether you want to be their friend or not, you owe them an apology. Now hurry up and get what that wheat. Get what that wheat. Get what that wheat. Get that wheat. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Here you go, I've got it. Found that wheat yet? Yep. Looks like enough. Take it down to the lake and feed it to the ducks. I'm not just slave boy. <laughs> I just threw it all over the water. Yeah, ducky, ducky, duckies. It's not a trap, I swear. You're perfectly safe here. Perfectly and utterly safe. Now we can be all friends, can't we? What the hell is that? A duck is immune to damage. Da 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 da. -da. <laughs> Puppins. Oh man. I can't even remember what movie that's from. Uh, shortened version to say two pence. Happens. Happens a bag. No, <laughs> your base foul water demons. Hello there, Zen Q. What have you done? I saw that you, you, those <laughs> poor ducks. <laughs> Okay, wow, this game actually reacted to me murdering the ducks. Go away, I never want to see you again, ever! <laughs> I'm telling mommy. Well, I still completed, so I don't care. <laughs> but I think I've lost Timmy forever. Timmy is now gone. Oh well. Good riddance, Timmy. Next time, maybe you won't send a mass murderer to do feeding the duckies. I did tell him I wasn't his slave. No, he wouldn't listen. <laughs> it's not what it looked like. How do I set this as, like, a mark? Oh, that's how. Permanently finished that quest, indeed. <laughs> it's only a psychopath can. They call them dailies. I call them oncelies. What are you so sad for over here, friend? This is gonna be awkward, because his shield keeps getting... Ah, there we go. Insta-dead. Zappy zap zap. <laughs> we do each Armageddon vengeance upon them. <laughs> they looked at me funny. Hello there. Mighty fine day, isn't it? Yes. 
Sucrose becomes quite powerful in this elemental field. Like, uh... This is when you can set fire, because she just spreads it, but... Water works well. Come on, big boy, come over here. I can keep swirling. Complete. Hello, spirit. Oh, my God, stop walking off. <laughs> I know you're drunk. You're a pirate. Don't need to keep doing that. Man, that rain is comfy. close by nope damn it's not going to be raining anymore oh it really makes me want to work on some sort of open world adventure game like this No, I'd never be as good. It would look terrible. It'd be quite comfy to work on. Catch the wind. Next one is up over here. Oh, that means I can unlock a couple more teleporters. I run up the pathway. Oh, there's another boss fight there. God, those are scary. So I accidentally hit the one here, which is the frost flower thing that's level 36. I was level 5 at that point. There's an electric boy over here at this one. I wonder what's over here at this one. Hmm. Probably for some fire thing. Also weird. I mean, there's also one up here. There's some sort of, like, triangulation pattern. Who knows? It's a mystery. A massive mystery.
One thing I did note with this, which is going to make me up my animation game quite a bit when I work on well, games, the jump is dependent on which foot is stepping. You can do high steps. The stopping animation is also dependent on which foot is forward too, which is pretty cool. Let's go and investigate. I want to see what's up there anyway. easy. Oh! Welcome to the Thunderdome. Ah, that's not ominous at all. I wonder what's in here. Perhaps something hidden? Freaky. Must have to come back here at some other time during the game. <laughs> what? Yeah, okay, that was weird. Hey, secret chest. Not a shieldy boy this time. Perfect. I won't let you down. Overload time. <laughs> I mean, she's pretty much that right now. I don't use her for anything but using the fire arrows. Ah. Curious. I need to go from higher up, it seems. Oh. <laughs> 
Did I leave anything up there? Actually, I can just check by doing this. Nope, I didn't. Good. Good to this. Oh, amber is fire. There's one just down there. Get ready for the gliding champion of Mondstadt. Welcome back, Matsukaze. My happiest moment was when I found out that uh, sucrose can actually still be quite good and powerful. Because of the elemental affinities that she has. <laughs> Boom shakalaka! Fire! <laughs> Passing traveller, I see. Sit with me. The view from here is incredible. What are you doing here? That's a good question. What am I doing here? I lost my way. Then I got chased by a boar. Then the Hillichos joined the chase. I ran until my legs gave out and my energy was gone. Then I suddenly noticed this lake. Then I had this realization that I've spent my whole life running. Running for no reason. No matter what, right now I am going to give myself a proper rest. Screw missions and all that. Although, there is the fact that if I don't report back to the gang soon, they'll find me something like 800,000 mora. I forget how much exactly. Whatever. Screw the gang of thieves too. Y you're from the gang of th thieves? Hmm. Now that you mention it, yes I am. Originally, my mission was to find this place called the Abandoned City. But since I haven't reported back on my progress in so long, I've probably technically been kicked out of the gang by now. That said, if you're going to report me, I won't run away. Either way, let me enjoy this view just a bit longer, won't you? Turning a new leaf over. Pat Pat was the quick Pat Pat. No, I'm not a voice actor. If only. <laughs> That's a big climb. Can I cheese it? I think I can. So it really fun thing. You can get your meter all the way down to nothing and then jump on last time. That ah, wasn't enough. <laughs> Overextend your climbing. It's quite cool. I got into the dangerous grove uh, before I think level eight. Sucks though, because Paimon, even though I could take on level 18s by using elemental combinations, she stops you and says, I think we should go back. I don't think we should go further until we're higher level. I'm like, no, let me go where I want to go, damn you. It's meant to be a game of freedom. And all there are are these restrictions on me. Camera angle. Hehehe. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Oh, 
Get off the bloody wall! <laughs> Uh, I've only got level four on the statues. Not sure. It's further over to the right. Yeah. Oh, secret chest. Going to hit? Oh my god. It's up there, damn it. Wrong character. Well, the fade out doesn't always happen, like now. Hee <laughs> hee. I think it's just because I was on a strange angle. Ah. Ah. I mean, I'm guessing that I would have to unlock some sort of wind thing here. Let's just bypass that altogether, shall we? <laughs> See booty. <laughs> All the characters ripped into VRC don't ghost it revealing angles. You can get uh, when you're in the where the wind currents that launch you up in the air, you get really good views from that angle. It's a shame I don't have any of the more revealing characters. I do have Hawaii Sucrose though. That's all that matters in life. Oh wait, I was here for a reason and I just went right past it. Are you sleeping on the job? actually threw something at me. They're very weak attacks unless there's elements on them. This is my mining sword. Indeed. <laughs> Four star level 20 blade. I use it to mine. <laughs> mine all day and I mine all night. What is this? Oh, it's a wind? Oh. Hello, everybody. How are you, Everyone? Yan? Set. It's probably my favorite move on Beidou. 
So like how she kicks the edge of her blade to make it swing. Kick. <laughs> Well, is your mining sword? I started using her, but her... I don't know, yeah, she's got the cool shield and stuff, but... I don't know. I didn't like it. It's almost like she didn't do enough damage. Okay, it didn't get high enough, it seems. Let's go higher. Good, Christian. Oh. <laughs> A single attack does it for her. Nice. What are you here for? Are you bugged? Ah. ah. I didn't know that... So that's what that... I didn't even need to climb the mountain over back that way. I could have just revealed the wind turret. Wrecked. Writhe in pain as you broke your toe. <laughs> no, she uses her heels to kick it. Uh, I'm missing one of the flying flies. We're in this general vicinity. Oh, probably here. Hey, found you. Come on, spooky spirit man. Oh, carrots gave me a chest as well. So much treasure. Level 30. The door of domain is closed. Only those with adventure rank 16. I'm close to that. And at least I know where it is now. <laughs> Come on, Sucrose. You can beat the fire shield with your wind. I believe in you. Ah, let's swap to someone who does damage. <laughs> the ultimate put down. But he loves large chests. What's that? Is that all of the uh That's all of them? Look at me. Oh. I just realized the stats were being covered up by the website. That would have been a really weird view at the bottom. <laughs> I always do that. I always You're hit the attack. Fine job. 
Outstanding performance considering it was your first time. The requester even asked me to thank you on their behalf. And, as promised, you are due your reward. Claim the Dana Commission reward. Oh, you shouldn't have. Except you totally should. <laughs> this is a token of the guild's gratitude. I didn't get we anything. We receive many new commissions every day, and without the efforts of each and every adventurer, there is no way we could respond to them all. If you complete enough commissions each day, you will be eligible to claim a special reward from me. Your adventurer you. handbook keeps a record of how from many the adventures guild. you complete each day. I want that special reward from you, Catherine. Make sure you claim your daily rewards on the days that you complete sufficient adventures. There is a as things currently stand, yes. My apologies. But please be assured that we are constantly pushing headquarters to make all our adventurers receive fair and adequate compensation. And please note that helping a fellow adventurer to complete a commission also counts towards your eligibility for a daily reward. We encourage you to work actively with your fellow adventurers. Add Astra Whoa. That wasn't really that exciting, though. Sorry to bother you again. No problem, I've been well looked after. <laughs> There's a new reward up for grabs. <laughs> Bingo. And I presume you are interested? Rewards, that's what I live off, lady. We are most grateful for your commission Keep completion head for to date. Long. <laughs> the guild's reputation has grown stronger as a result. However, another consequence is that we are receiving an unprecedented number of requests Whoa, sudden time more than change. our current numbers can handle. You want us to do some recruitment for you? Uh, no. Although I appreciate the offer. It would be fantastic to have some new members. But scrambling to officially recruit new members at this stage would not really solve our immediate problems. So what I want to ask is, would your friends have the time to help out? What? I don't have friends. I need to check with them. Great. Please do. Thank you. Right now, we urgently need to find people for our expeditions. Expeditions? We organize expeditions to explore areas around the city and in the wilderness. It is a way to keep ourselves informed of any emerging dangers, unusual activity in the domains, and so on. Since expeditions are not commissioned by a third party, there are no strict deadlines for completion. However, we neglect <laughs> them at our peril. If trouble were to foment unchecked, it could easily turn into a major disaster. Pretty important, then. Yeah, it is pretty important. What about compensation, though? Rest assured that the <laughs> guild does not take a cut of the spoils from expeditions. Everything goes to you and your friends. Now, without further ado, let me show you the expeditions that are currently available. <gasps> It's a complete new game mode. Is this an RTS? Wow, those rewards are pretty... Um, yeah. Ooh. Oh, I see. It's a uh, garrison. Mobile game style. I get you, I get you. I'll send Razor over there for 20 hours, and I'll send Lisa to that one. Easy mode. <laughs> You can dispatch someone on an expedition at any time. But of course, whoever you dispatch will be unable to join your party <laughs> for the duration of the expedition. The duration of an expedition varies depending on the destination. After your friend returns, just come here and confirm the outcome. As your adventure rank increases, more dangerous expeditions will become available to you. After all, with epic power comes epic responsibility! Thank you, Uncle Paimon Ben. And of course, <laughs> matching risk with experience is also for everyone's safety. Thanks again for your help. I hope you and your friends can help out with our expeditions as much as possible. Well, thank you, Catherine. Add Astra Abyssa. Yay. <laughs> Almost level 15, and I still have the level 10 quest to do. <laughs> so there's only one more. One more quest left in my quest book until level 15. Uh, do I want to do it, or should I take a break? Uh, 
Let's go and do this one real quick. <laughs> what are you talking about, Osturichi? Don't you remember? I am the library. <laughs> I've taken out every book from every library I've seen. You never know. Although, have you seen anyone play with Lisa on the English language? She is extremely lewd. Everything she says has just that lewd connotation to it. I know that in Japanese she becomes a bit ara ara, but uh, yeah, I just found it hilarious. Like she gets the wet status, she's like, oh no, I've made them wet. <laughs> Very funny. Spread the fire, taste the flames, in righteous fire thou shalt burn! Oh yeah, he dodged it alright. Come into the water, I have a present for you. Freeze! <laughs> Oh no, I froze. Stop freezing me, damn it. Rip. Ah, uh, little cutie, kawaii ko, or something like that. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I might leave it there for now. Need to go and get some dinner at 6 30 here. Probably try and get some curry or something. That mountain over there. Can't wait till I climb that. It's going to be fun as hell. Big mountain. Oh, hold on. Actually, before I go. Uh. Yes! I get to roll a 10! Yay! Ooh! I have the worst luck when it comes to gacha. Yay, I got another sword. Ooh. I've rolled that thing about ten times. I'm always ready. Ten times and I've only managed to get what? One, two, four characters out of ten rolls. It's kind of ridiculous. I've got all the weapons. Oh, hell yes I do. Each character I have has a four-star weapon. <laughs> Ah oh dear. I do like the look of that weapon though. It's much larger and has a clock on it. So I'll never be late for my meeting when I have to beat the crap out of people. 
Taking damage generates a shield which absorbs damage up to 20% of max HP. This lasts for 10 seconds or until broken. Huh. Oh, while protected, you've gained a lot of extra damaglias. Yeah, my luck sucks. Why I'll never spend money on this game. <laughs> just I'll just be throwing money down a pile hole. Oh! Oh, I need to rank 15, but I have enough tools to upgrade it to the uh, next level. The Ascension. I like to look at the blade, though. Oh, look at that beast. Nice, sir. view <laughs> well I'm guessing that maybe a lot of the Western players haven't seen proper gacha before they've only probably known about loot boxes <sighs> There's just something different about with loot boxes, how they just give you skins and shit like that. And then you got this game, which doesn't really have a benefit because it's not multiplayer online or role playing, you know, that kind of crap. But the stars make you want for the best. And all the cool characters. He has so many faunal. Oh, hasn't had any faunal contact in ages. Tell me, Okinoko. All your mushrooms. Hmm. So it's like a mix of Korean grinding games as well, yeah. I think that's it, yeah. I mean, if the company's making crap loads of money from this, more power to them. to do the old leaveroni. Thank you for stopping by everybody. I hope you enjoyed this spooky ghost stream. <laughs> they open their wallet to get shinies. They become the whales. You appreciate the support of the devs. Oh, I made a game this cute and I was making money from it. I'd be happy too. It is an amazingly fun and beautiful gun. Big, big, big gist to anyone that hasn't tried it yet. Though, don't blame me if you do accidentally get hooked on the gacha. Yeah, well, that's how they always work, isn't it? With gacha games. <laughs> they always have that other special card. It's like PSO2. Oh, you want something from this roll? You've got to buy a different type of ticket. Anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you all for stopping by. I hope you all have a wonderful morning, evening, or night, no matter where you are. Farewell for now, lovely people.